Welcome back to part three of how Ty Munkin can help Lamar Jackson get back to MVP form. This is the last part that I'm going to use his Tampa Bay film from 2018 on. I'm going to progress to the Georgia film from last year and the next couple films. So this is basically the conclusion of how I think what he did in Tampa, he can import it or include it into his game plan or his playbook in Baltimore. Fade ball. Touchdown. <laughs> 20 looking like, what the freak just happened? Tell me eight can't do this. Tell me Odell can't do this. Tell me Bateman can't do this. Hey, Zay Flowers can do this. Likely can do this. You just get the best matchup out there. Just get the best matchup. That's all you do. All right, next offensive series. Come back to the screen. Keep in mind, that's Zay Flowers right there. It's Zay Flowers coming in motion, doing the yo-yo motion, coming back, and they're going to throw a screen to him. Running a little counter, because you know we're going to end up running counter. Got the screen out here. Because the guys are like they're down blocking, but they actually go straight into the screen motion. Let me catch that thing. Catch that thing clean and don't be scared. And get right up there. He got to make sure he get his block, though. Don't be scared and get right up in there. Zay Flowers can do that. Hey, there. Got a bucket hat on now. Do that. Tell me that can't be Flowers. And how's this thing? Tell you, this is a lot of good stuff. He put them in motion to kind of figure out what they was doing. Came right back to it, even though it was a flag on one of the linemen. You just hear your regular outside run to, to in the half. Because that big play was right before the half, and they took it back, so they just kind of ran it to um, get the halftime. All right, coming out of halftime. See what we at. Twenty, we got twenty minutes left. See what we got. See, that's where you fake set, and I say I don't mind record doing this occasionally because all the other times he's been in has been runs, and so now you get it. You know, you get it, and you can run him in the flats because he he can't catch. He can't catch. So no. I ain't gonna trip on it, but just as long as he ain't out there frequently. And again, they, they got good drops. They got Tampa 2 going. You know, nothing's really open, but just check down. Again, keep in mind, if this is 8 and he don't like what he see, he can get out. This is where his 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 rush yards can come. He can get out and protect himself. But he also can come down here to check down. Because this is this bottom is pretty much covered. This top is pretty much covered. He can come down here to check down, or he, he could... He could Get out the pocket and maneuver to the right. Or, like Fitzpatrick, wait for it to develop a little more and throw the curl. Or that. <laughs> or that. But again, look at the spacing, though. Nobody's on top of each other. You got clear, you know, pass lanes, clear reads. Yeah, Fitzpatrick throwing on the run, which we, we know Lamar can do that. Is it counter, I think? Counter power. Let me see which one this is. Either one, you know we good at, at, at gap runs. We good at gap runs. So you can get a Linda Baum pulling right here. Not Linda Baum, a Zeitler. Just a little power. And he sh he should have tried to root him out, but he didn't. So he should have blocked him down. Then he should have logged this. And then 25 should bounce it off 77. That was a log. And he tried to bounce it. They, that made good defensive play, Saints. But I don't think Zyla pulls that much, though. I don't think so. I don't remember Zyla pulling that much. 
I wonder how how good is he at it. And look at your spacing. Just look at your spacing. You got to go up top. You got what probably can be like some kind of choice right here. Uh, 84 is working the middle. You got the bench on the, the bottom half. Look at the spacing. The timing. The timing. Watch the timing on this 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 uh comeback at the bottom of the screen. Watch the timing. One, two, three. Hitch. Ball out. Love it. Love it. Now, now for us Ravens fans that have been here a minute, y'all destroyed Anthony Avery when the coach was killing him. It was these type of routes that the coach was getting him on. Timing routes. And when your, your receiver and your quarterback on the same page, it's tough to defend these routes. It's going to be perfect. Three-step drop, hitch, ball out. Hitch, ball out. And if he runs this route at the exact same time that he's ready to throw, you can't defend that. You can't defend it. Again, quick outs, playing the leverage. Fade out, just playing the leverage. Yeah, I did it. I did a couple. I did it last week sometime. I did it last week. I broke it down. Maybe it was on most of the tally, though. But I know I talked about it. I just don't remember which platform it was on. Maybe it was more of the tally. I think it was. I was talking about Derrick Henry. Just playing leverage. Yeah, you way off. Bam, I'm get you with a little quick out. I'm going to take, the, take these yards. Now it's second and five. Quick game. Something that Roman didn't use a lot of. Quick game is an extension of your run game. And now, I will tell you this. It was a three-step drop right here because he's on the center. But if he in shotgun, this is just catch and throw. It's a three-step drop from here. One, two, three. But if he has shotgun, you just catch and throw it. So either one, under center or shotgun, it don't matter. Under center or shotgun, it don't matter. 11 personnel again. Look at he mix, he mixing the personnel packages up. Tried to run the RPO. He got flatlined. Faking the, the buck sweep. Trying to run the run something right up in here where the linebacker came from. Kind of the RPO slant, maybe. They took away the first slant. Took away the second slant. Where the ball going? Oh, they ran three slants behind that. And the Saints played it well. Played man. Took it all away. That's the way you beat the RPOs. You, you play man. And if the your receivers can't get open, then you're stuck. Look at that. This is about an eight-step drop. We got a guy that can win like this. We got a, we got guys that can win like this. Odell can win like this. Baby can win like this. Throw Ricard in there. Make it look like it's going to be some kind of run. Straight drop back. Ricard's blocking. Call him a man. We got guys that can win like that. And the reason he goes there, because the safety tapes, takes the bottom. The safety took the crosser, so now you got the one-on-one -on -one right there. Simple reads. Simple reads. Simple. Clear and concise. And again, this stuff is going to be more magnified because we can run the ball. Look how open he is. And this is Lattimore. This is Lattimore on Mike Evans. Let's get to the first play of the series. Outside zone. You know we good at this. Linda Bum, record, doing their thing. Letting JK find his hole. And again, so out of this formation, you've seen about three or four plays already. You saw dive, you saw uh, ISO. Now you're seeing outside zone out of this formation. Whereas when you saw a certain formation with with um, zero, you your options was limited. You knew what was about to happen. You had a a, a thirty three percent chance of picking what was about to happen. Now, granted, 
Look at, look at the gaps. The Saints fill the gaps on this one. But now this gives information. This gives information. Because now you see how this guy's kind of coming down the line of scrimmage. He can't do that versus eight. Because if Lamar boot out that thing, it's a wrap. But they're going to they gonna sell out like this. Now you're putting it back in your mind. Okay, I got a boot coming. Let me, you know, let me get on down the road a little bit. Next time I show him, maybe hit him with a little boot action. And your boot action with this same formation could be, let me let him get set first. All right, this could be your boot action. Run that same offensive uh, situation. Run him on a deep over. Quarterback come out, boot out. Uh, if it's a receiver over here, run him on a, a deep post. Then your, your bottom guy, run him on a go. That could be your boot action right there. And keep in mind, if he goes down the line, A can come out, and if you don't like what he see, just run it. Or throw it away. He got options on the edge. Got options. But th the thing is, is with, with this being Lamar, this cat ain't going to work down that line like that. He's going to sit right there, make sure Lamar ain't got that ball. And when Lamar boot out and is obviously he ain't got it, then he'll come on down the line of scrimmage. But until he realizes he ain't got it, he ain't going to just, you know, wander down this line like he does on this play. Even though he's surfing, he's going to have to stay his butt out here in order to have the proper leverage to tackle Lamar. Because at this point, if this is Lamar and this is him, he can't make that tackle when they start going left. Lamar going to outrun them too fast. All right, again, this play action right here. Watch the linebacker. Watch the linebacker. The top linebacker. Both of them, that play action was quick. You're going to have to take more than that on us. Even though I know the fake is quick, too, you're going to have to take more than that on us. And again, the, the play, the timing didn't work out. He gets out of the pocket, but look at the spacing he got. He can go left, he can go right. He can just get what he can get and get down. Because it's facing out there. Everything's everything ain't five to ten yards from the line of scrimmage. You got deep routes, you got intermediate routes, you got short routes. You got multiplicity. Well, just a big word right there. Multiplicity. Let's see what we got here. Back to eleven personnel. A little whip right at the top. Whip and go. Missed out on the opportunity right there. Mm. I see I see a Bateman sighting. All right. What what I love to do is, me personally, when, I'm, when, it, when I do what I do, how I do how I do, if I ever get a chance to do what I do, when I do what I do again. But if you come out here in this two over three, I'm running down bubble. I'm running down bubble. Run the darn bubble screen. If I come out here and you two over there and run the bubble screen. Block him. Block him. You got to make a tackle on this this dude right here. One on one. That's what, that's what, in my mind, that's what I'm thinking. This is a long handoff. This is a long toss in my mind. And keep in mind, this, this might be Zay Flowers. All right. Now, he cheat, tried to cheat the play. Now he out leveraged. Because now all, all Flowers would have to do is, oh, my bad. But have to get out here and make somebody miss. Because he still got to go block 20. Made him miss. And look at that. We know Flowers can do this. We know, we've we seen it. We've seen it. Get him in space. He got a guy in space. That's all that is. He got a guy in space. He had a numbers advantage out there and got a guy in space. That simple. This shit ain't rocket science, man. He Roman made it rocket science. Uh, Saints made a good play on that, but, you know, you come back with a run. Nothing wrong with that. Then you find your guy. You know, they, you know, they, change, up they, off, they change up their defense from time to time, and you, got, you get them in man. You got guys on the edge that can do this now. You got guys on the edge that can win. So they get them in man, you hurt them. You punish them. 
You make them pay. And that's what all this is. You do all your underneath stuff. You run the ball. Make them think that they can't stop you unless they in man. Then you get them in man and you punish that butt. That's as simple as it is. Get them in man. Punish them. Punish them. Punish them. And that's what the setup is. I wanted to end on that play right there because that's the culmination of your game planning. You you got you put runs in, you put short passing game in, and your short passing game will make them come up. It'll make them come up. Then you get the opportunity to throw them bombs. So that's going to be the last one I'm going to show you. And so the next video we do, the next game we do, it'll be something from Georgia. I go through and look at these Georgia games and find one that I think fits the fits our personnel the best, which is the same thing I did about this 2018 season. I'll find the Georgia game that fits our personnel the best. I'll, uh, you know, try to imagine our guys running those plays and kind of convey to you my thoughts on it. So, uh, again, if you're watching on Patreon, thank you. you. You got to see the whole video right now. If you're watching on YouTube, you will see it in parts. This, If you hear me talking now, it's part three. So, you'll get this will be part three for you. And, um, Soon and very soon. I've been writing ideas down too. School will be out officially Wednesday. So you're going to get a, a ton of videos, man. You're going to get a ton of videos. I got some ideas I wrote down right here that we're going to work on after this month and stuff. So we're going to keep it rolling. Don't forget, like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I appreciate you for coming out. Uh, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Peace.